Hey, David here. In this video, we are going to cover a few simple steps on setting up your advanced metrics. Uh, start off, jump into your settings page. We're going to scroll down to find our advanced tool set and turn on advanced metrics. Once uh, advanced metrics is turned on, you can actually click here to quickly just enter your metrics page. Now, by default, you will see uh, the original five metrics from uh, the standard Spectora platform. Uh, this will be just be left here. What we're going to want to do is create a new metrics uh, dashboard to really take full advantage of all the capabilities. So right here under your drop down for dashboards, click new dashboard, and then just give it a name. We will call it advanced metrics for now. Once you create your new dashboard, you will have this plus button to add widgets. So uh, these will be a variety of numbers, bar charts, pie charts, and so forth. To start, you can look at uh, total revenue. That is going to be what's on the books, paid or unpaid. Uh, payments received, of course, what you have been paid. Inspection count. If you participate in our partnerships program, you can track the revenue generated from that as well. Average inspection price is another example. Looking at our bar charts over time, inspections on a you know weekly, monthly, or yearly basis can be configured here. Same with revenue, same with average inspection price, and the list goes on. Inspections per inspector, if you uh, have multiple inspectors under your company, primary inspector, inspector requests, and so forth. Looking at a few pie charts, referral sources, who scheduled an inspection that can break down whether it's an internal scheduler, someone who works for your company, or if an agent had scheduled through your online scheduler, that will track as well. Upcoming inspections uh, is also another new metric to take advantage of. Uh, agents, for example, let's look at that. Agents by inspection count or agencies by inspection count as well. We also have agents by revenue or agencies by revenue. We also have services and add-ons. So the breakdown is gonna be the number of uh, services or add-ons you have performed. And then of course we have the service revenue and the add-on revenue. Uh, and then lastly, we have a map. So you can just add this and see um, a, sort of a heat map of where your inspections have been located. Let's just close out and look at how we can adjust this uh, new dashboard. To start, you can just shape up your charts put them in a better spot, make them a little easier to read. Some might need to be a little smaller, others you might want to expand to make it a little bigger, and you can rearrange your, um, your charts just by simply clicking and dragging to whatever order you think is best. Uh, the other uh, little edit you can make as well will be with the drop-down menu right below the name of the metric. So let's use these for example. Most of these charts, you'll have um, this drop down. If you want to look at numbers, the last seven days, the last month, the previous month, uh, you can break it down by quarter, break it down by year as well. Maybe I want to look at this month last year. So you can really narrow down the, the time, the time frame of, of when you want to be looking at these numbers. Uh, you can also adjust the data that we are pulling. So for example, let's just look at my agent by revenue metric. Not much here, but let's say I want to change this up. The top right corner, we have an edit button, and this will open up um, a little more detail about this metric. Really, to, to start, the biggest thing is going to be changing these two data points. Right now, we're looking at total revenue by my agent. Maybe I want to change this drop down to total inspections, and I can change this drop down to inspection city, for example. Then I can pop over to input details and appearance, just change the name of it so it makes more sense, and click save. Then you have a whole new chart that you made out of nowhere uh, to start tracking your numbers. This could be done um, by re re average revenue by city, total inspections by city as well. Um, so really good use case there. Um, the heat map, of course, the bottom, uh, you can zoom in to wherever you're located. You'll see your heat map. And once again, you can also expand to make it a little bigger. Uh, so there's just a few tips on the advanced metrics. Part two of, of using Spector Advanced when it comes to metrics is actually updating your actual dashboard. So if we go to dashboard, we can see this is customizable as well. 
similar to metrics, I can click and drag around the widgets on this page. Maybe I want my map to be a little smaller. I can move my today box around and I can move my in progress bar up. Any sort of edits you want to make here with these widgets, you can do so, change the shape and size. The other thing is you will also have this plus button at the top of your dashboard too to add widgets to your company's dashboard. So for example, if I want to add a couple widgets of um, agent revenue, add-on service revenue, things like that, this is a, this is a pretty big list of, of similar metrics um, as the previous page, but a few uh, different metrics as well. For example, capacity chart. You can track um, how many inspections, how many hours of inspections you're doing each day compared to the availability that your team has and see what days of the week might be a little more packed than others. Maybe you start to see uh, if you're hitting your max capacity and you might need to hire a new inspector. So those are some use cases for capacity chart. Recently scheduled events will be helpful as well. You can also add that. That'll basically show you what inspections have been scheduled um, today or the previous day. You can toggle back and forth, um, revenue, uh, address, things like that. So you can see on a, almost a daily basis um, how much potential money your company has brought in uh, that day. So definitely check out uh, the advanced metrics, test out uh, rearranging your dashboard and adding a couple of widgets so that helps your day-to-day your -day processes and definitely let us know if you have any questions. Thanks.